hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today we will be learning uh, how to do linear interpolation for filling the missing values in uh, a panel data set so we will be using the same data set which we are discussing uh, which we also discussed in the previous video so this is the data set we have data on different banks uh, different banks uh, uh, over the period of time and uh, there are some missing values over here so uh, we will be filling these uh, missing values using linear interpolation so first of all we need to look at the uh, name of the variables so we have uh, given different codes to different banks so for example agriculture bank is having uh, code 1 bank of Kathmandu uh, code 2 and uh, 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 century commercial bank uh, code 3 so and we have year yearly data so we have mentioned here so uh, in order to do a linear interpolation first of all uh, uh, just uh, decide these uh, values or these uh, do this this basic categorization that uh, for example just code your uh, different uh, uh, entities for example bank or uh, maybe departments or different things so accordingly code uh, them and then mention the year and uh, so here we have data uh, where missing values are there so we will be using stata to fill these values so we will import this file into uh, stata so this is the file so yes so we have this file like this the name of the variable so okay so we have the data so now we can browse the data so this is the data set and uh, there are missing values in it so we will be doing linear interpolation of the data so in order to do that first of all we need to tell the data that uh, this is a panel data so we have to declare the data as panel data so for that the command is xt set uh, so id uh, here we have to uh, the id of the different uh, uh, different say banks uh, so we have given it the name of bank code bank code and then the different point of times so that is your bank code and year so yes so now we have declared the data as uh, a panel data so it is saying panel variable bank code and it is unbalanced so because there are some missing uh, so there are a uh, different number of years for example for some years we have data from 2004 to 2018 for different for some of other uh, banks we have data for less number of years so it is an unbalanced panel so so we have declared the data set to be panel data now we will be doing linear interpolation to fill the values so for that the command is ipolate uh, uh, now we will type the, uh, the variable which we are going to interpolate so that is uh, total assets then uh, uh, we have the uh, yearly data so we will be typing year comma now we will be generating the new series uh, where the values will be filled so uh, uh, we will name it for example we want to name it ea uh, so ea in uh, total assets and then we uh, uh, we will uh, type 
e polate e e o l a t e and then y so we want to uh, want stata to uh, interpolate uh, as per the different ids so the uh, ids uh, encode so now enter so uh, you can see there is another variable so now we are going to browse once again so yes uh, our missing values are filled now we have data for missing values and we are done through linear interpolation so uh, uh, you can see uh, for example we uh, specified to the stata that uh, interpolate these values on the basis uh, on the basis of uh, this uh, bank code uh, this id of banks for example uh, these uh, this these two values will be filled based on the linear interpolation of this data set from this to this uh, then uh, the, these value uh, for the second bank are filled by uh, linear interpolation of uh, this data set that's why we specified the different ids in the uh, command box so once again uh, you can see we type ipolate a total asset which is the name of the variable then yearly data uh, so we will type year so uh, then we'll mm, then comma then gen gen uh, uh, specify here to generate new variable then epolate uh, by a bank code so this is how we do the linear interpolation i hope uh, you like the video if you learned something please uh, do like and share the video Thank you so much.